What's going on, beautiful people? In today's MLB The Show 22 video, we're going to be breaking down how to win every showdown in the game. This is going to be simple but very effective methods to help you be more successful. Let's get into today's MLB The Show 22 showdown and conquest breakdown. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. All right, so they just dropped the new extreme in MLB The Show 22. Now, you can use the same method for any showdown. Dog days of summer, always intense, big dog, cover athletes. It's the same exact method. We already have our team drafted, so we're going to look at the squad, okay? The last person is going to be a left-handed pitcher. So I want to make sure that I get some power hitters righties okay i want to get as many righty power hitters as possible but then i also want to make sure that i got two or three lefties or switch hitters in case the other missions have right-handed pitchers okay throughout the process you're going to be getting more and more players and as far as perks perks you want to try to get anything that says exit velocity Right here, they didn't give me the opportunity to get that. So I had to take contact boost on inside pitches when runners are on base and slight contact boost while losing, okay? But if you see anything with exit velocity, make sure that you take advantage of those. It's gonna help the ball fly off of the bat a little better. Now the first mission is gonna be against right-handed pitcher Zach Grinky down by two runs, okay? Now, this approach is gonna work no matter what. We're gonna pause it real quick. The first thing you want to do is check the pitches. You are not online. You plan against the CPU. You want to see how many up pitches, meaning curveballs, stuff like that, that pops up out of his hand. And then you want to check the down pitches. The down pitches are the fastball, the sinker. The first thing you want to do is push right trigger or R2. You want to check his pitch selection. So he has a four seam fastball and a sinker with a change up and a slider. They are going to be walking you a lot. Don't swing at everything. Everything is not going to be in the strike zone. So therefore you won't have max power. So that's three balls and zero strikes. Now you can wait for a mistake pitch. A mistake pitch is when they throw it straight down the middle. There he goes with a four seamer, a little high, but I wanted more in this area so I can get max velocity on it. So there we go with our first base hit right there, 35 speed, we're going to be able to get a double. All right, so now we have one runner on base right there, okay? And all I did was just sit back and wait for it to come straight down the strike zone. Let him use as many pitches up that he has to. One old pitch right there. It was an off speed. You don't need to try to kill that. You want the ones in this slow area right here. High I am moving is all you want to do. Boom, straight back up the gut right there, 35 speed. We're going to send him home. He shouldn't be able to gun him out. 35 speed, we get a run right there, okay? Base runner on third, and we're watching for anything in the zone. Okay, so that one right there, he jammed me up. And it falls in place, so we're going to leave both of them base runners on, okay? So that guy don't have that much power. Okay? So we don't want to be in a double play, so we don't want anything on the ground. That's the outside right there, one one pitch. When you got a base runner on, these down here is gonna get you into double plays. You want these and up. Okay, so we were able to get underneath it. Okay, so we can tag up, we can bring him home right there. We still have three outs to use. All we need is an extra base hit or a home run. Okay, so they started me off without people without power. So right here, uh, throw me should have enough power with a good squared up pitch. Boom, that should go over his head. There's no way he should catch that. Boom, get him all the way around 64 speed, send him home, and we complete that mission right there with the approach. Now, we've seen enough fastballs over and over and over and over where the timing was there. As soon as he threw it to the inside, I was able to jump on it, okay? So that's the same exact approach 
that you're gonna use for every single one of these missions. Remember, when you got a base runner on base, you can either bunt to move him, so if you get the next guy out with low power, you will only get one person out instead of two. All right, so once you get to the perk section again, now we starting to get exit velocity. So we're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab a switch hitter that we can move up. Make sure that you equip your perks every single time. Come right here to your uh, squad. Take this person out, 41 power, put him in, and now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go switch hitter. We're gonna move up to the third spot. All right, so the next mission on this one would be going against L Lighter. You are down four runs, but you have one person on base. So a home run will bring the gap within two, L lighter you have to check if he's a left-handed or a right-handed and then you will go up in here and you will switch your squad accordingly okay so whoever you pull you can go and take these guys out people can be out of position you don't have to have people in the correct position you're gonna be playing offense not worrying about defense if this helped you out use these tips and strategies and complete these showdowns super super fast let's get it